say hello to the little kitty. So, today is my birthday, and I turned 55, and I thought I'd give you guys some eye candy. This is the china closet in the bedroom. And I haven't, well, I can't get in there completely because there's a piece of furniture in the way. But I have stuff I need to add to it. <laughs> that door doesn't want to stay open. All right. We're going to stay. So as you can see, there, there's a lot. There's a lot hiding in there. Picture of my dad, um, which is falling down. That is uh, J.W. Wells from the Gilbert and Sullivan Opera of the Sorcerer. The mug is a, another Gilbert and Sullivan piece. I ha I like Gilbert and Sullivan. The pile of, you can see my TARDIS, the pile of wooden toys, um, those were, some of them were from my mother and were part of her dollhouse as a kid. And you can see my little Japanese stuff, my only head vase. The only picture of us as kids that I know of, um, Mom got enlargements made for all of us. And that little tiny one there, that little tiny one, that's me. I am probably not even two years old yet in that, because my birthday's October. So I can't get all the way in, but I've got stuff I need to get in here. So this is cool. A lot of people sell that as... Um, a children's tea set, but that is actually a transfer made for the show The Mikado from the Gilbert and Sullivan Operettas. And there's a whole series of those. There's Mikado, there's... Oh, where are, is another one hiding? Let's see. Oh, about to knock over stuff. Uh, is this... Alright, here, here's a close-up of is it going to focus? Focus. There uh, there we go. So this is the one for the Mikado. Okay. And then they made others. Come here, Mr. Wells. The sorcerer himself. You can see hiding back here. This is the one for... HMS Pinafore. These were made by Portland Pottery. And I can't quite get to the others. But you can see that one in the back is the Yeoman of the Guard. You can't quite see the one for gondoliers. They did quite a few. And they have butter pats. They have these little cups. This is a whole stack of little dishes that's all that Gilbert and Sullivan stuff. And people just look at them and go, oh, it's a child set. Well, it's a little bit more than that. Gilbert and Sullivan operettas have been around for a hundred years, and they're still going strong. I mean, at one point in time between Wilmington and Philadelphia, you had the Arden Singers, which still exists. You have Rose Valley Chorus and Orchestra, which still exists. You had Thespis, etc. Um, you had the Savoy Company in Philadelphia, which is still around. You had, um, because Thespis, etc. is not around. You had the Penn Singers, which do Gilbert and Sullivan. I feel like I'm missing somebody. Thespis, Arden, Singers, Rose Valley, Savoy, Penn. And I guess that's it. I have not performed with Penn Singers, because that's at the un at the University of Pennsylvania, and I have not done anything with the Savoy Company in Philly, because I hate city driving, and I don't trek into Philly. Um, so, but I have, I've done a lot with Arden Singers and Thespis. I've directed, I've been on stage, I've designed sets, um... I've done costumes, I've done props, I've actually had to paint sets on occasion. I have stuff I want to fit in here, and I am just looking now going, I don't think this is happening. <laughs> Especially as I can't get the door all the way open. So let's see what we can see and show off and not have the glare drive us crazy. 
That is a lump of coal. That was a joke between an ant and I. Um, oh, see that back there? That is one of the coolest salt and pepper shakers. That's one of the thin ones from my great grandmother and great aunt set. They had easily, easily uh, over a thousand salt and pepper shakers by the time we had to empty the house. But the footmen are salt and pepper and the carriage is the mustard. So you can see I like some of this stuff is from Japan from my aunt Michiko. And you can't see them, the soldiers are in the way. But that shepherd, he's the mustard pot. There's a sheep dog and a lamb. And they're the salt and pepper. And those big figural ones, you just don't see. There's another salt and pepper shaker from the collection. My little tiny Royal Dalton. Some of my fairies. Some of my little critters. So, some of these little guys I want to purge if I can re- oh! I want to show you this. Maybe somebody can help me identify it. So there's the back. That's the front. I found it in a relative stuff. It's domed. So that magnifies. I've never, ever found another one like it. I don't know what it's from. So maybe you guys can help. But I wanted, I just got one of these, these little clip-on birds. I got this one and I got three others. And I wanted to put them in here for safekeeping for now. But as you can see, that's a bigger challenge than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and let's see, this is a little, I think they're called Benracha. But this is a little mini version they're, the bigger versions are made for a badminton game. And you you basically knock this little bean back and forth that has um, feathers sticking out of it. So it makes the shuttlecock. We're going to tuck her in down there. And so this is one of the birds I got for my birthday. We're going to lay you right there for now. When I can get to this, you'll get a much better view of all this stuff. Like you can see my only piece of pink depression glass is this little powder jar, um, which I think is really cool. But I got a couple of these for myself. This one actually has the Japan label. My great aunts had a bunch of these, and sadly a lot of them were chipped and cracked and some of them like the tails were broken off and then this is the other one isn't that adorable so the little girl anybody who collects franklin mint they'll recognize the little girl here i only have two of them these are i think that one's meg and then back there is amy they were made by the franklin mint and were the the little women and I only have Meg and and Amy at the moment not ever found the other two so but yeah I have I got a lot of stuff <laughs> a lot of stuff okay we're gonna put you back here when I do my animal sale hmm I should snag these now if I can get a hold of them. So. These little guys. Salt and pepper shakers. Japan. Were for. Niagara Falls. Focus. They're going to go. Into the animal sale. And if I can get a hold of them. Come here, you guys. Come here. I have these three. They are like a whole little family set here that are seahorses. The flash is just um, paling them out. They are they're pink and really cute. 
So they're going to go and, well, I, I wanted to send the little unicorn too, but I'm going to keep my little birdies. And that gives me room to put this little guy that I picked up. He is, that's white and I, I think that's a Napco label because they used to do white and silver. So I don't have very much that's Easter stuff. But I wanted to put him in there. And, uh, and you can see I have some neat stuff up top. Neat little fairy. A couple of cool pieces. But yeah, I mean even my... Oh, I knocked over my, my Minecraft. My Minecraft guy fell over. But yeah, I've, I've got stuff everywhere. Even my china closet is completely packed. Which is why, you know, like I said, we, <laughs> you gotta keep going. And I'll put her in there. It's, it's, it is a um, measuring tape, but I think it's modern because that measuring tape piece is, is metal. But it's a black cat. So I'll hang on to that. But I wanted to tuck them in there. I found this note while I was clearing the way to get in. It's from, see that date? 2016. Stop sitting on your money and start selling your money. No more kind of life. Isn't that the truth? We all kind of get this done or we kind of get that done. And we all have these piles of things to sell. And we don't always really get to it. And it's a shame because, you know, we're always... <sighs> We're always sitting on stuff, and that's got to change, because I got way too much, and my kid will just, I keep telling him, if nothing else, just, just, just do an estate sale. Just hire somebody to do an estate sale. Don't, don't dumpster it. And this is one of my little curio things that needs to be dusted, and, you know, like, I kept this little Siamese because and it's got the chip on the ear, and I did like the kitty with the ball. But, yeah, I've got stuff. I just got these from Real Nifty Vintage. They should go in this china closet, but I'm not I'm not seeing a spot big enough to hold them yet. <laughs> so, I thought you guys like my, like that eye candy. And, uh, hope you have a good day. I'm looking forward to having a good day. And, happy Halloween. If you like what you see, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!